Can you two? Kurt says seven here to talk about Louis van Gaal quitting Manchester United. In the press today, apparently Louis van Gaal has resigned after that 1-0 defeat to Southampton on the weekend. Oh, what a game that was. Jesus Christ. But anyways, we're not here to talk about that game, not doing a review about this game. This is about Louis van Gaal resigning from Man United. Apparently, this is not the first time either. Apparently, back in December, he offered his resignation to the board. We went on that horrid, horrid run in December. You know, the one that we got knocked out of the Champions League. We lost to Norwich, Bournemouth, Stoke away, a few nil-nils in there. That month, yeah, he resigned after that month, but apparently, Ed Woodward knocked it on the head. Didn't, didn't accept his resignation. So, here we are, not long after, not even a month later, and he's offered his resignation again. Now, quite clearly, Louis van Gaal can see, he's a smart man, that the players are not responding to his demands. Everyone knows that philosophy is a load of shite and was from the very beginning. In fact, I'll take that back. It wasn't a load of shite. His philosophy was to play negative football. If you're attacking minded, don't be anywhere near the Manchester United Football Club. We just want boring, boring football to be played. I am being a little bit harsh on Louis van Gaal there, but you can see where I'm going with this. I'm, I'm fed up with him. I want to make a point and give my opinions on a few things about van Gaal and why we haven't sacked him as yet. Now, clearly... You know, he should have been sacked months ago. It should have been sacked a while ago. But he's still, we have still yet to sack him. And it makes sense. The board are completely split on the next managerial position for Manchester United. As in who to get to replace Louis van Gaal. Now that is the reason, apparently, the sole reason why we haven't sacked Louis van Gaal yet. And it makes sense because there's not a lot of great options out there. Now, for me, it says one, clearly... We're not getting Pep Guardiola because if we were getting Pep Guardiola, for me, Louis van Gaal would have been sacked right now, in my personal opinion, if he was available. That right there says he is signed, sealed, delivered, ready to go to Manchester City. Jose Mourinho. I'm not a big fan of Jose Mourinho. He is literally cut from the same cloth as uh, Louis van Gaal. Literally, was his right-hand man at Barcelona. They play exactly the same type of football. Very defensive, very possession type, very just 1-0 wins. You know, it's Chelsea all over the way we're playing, and it is horrible football. Granted, his success, Jose Mourinho, is valid. You know, he does get results, and Louis van Gaal does get results too. I will give him that credit. All right, he hasn't done it at Manchester United. He came in last season. He said we're going to get top four. He did give us top four. Barcelona, Bayern Munich, you know, look at Netherlands at the World Cup. He did get results. Just this season, it's definitely caught up to him, and it was a much tougher job than he thought, in my personal opinion. I can see why the board don't want to go with Jose Mourinho, because... I think if we do go and get Jose Mourinho, the start will be fantastic. There will be a few good signings. But I, I, I can almost guarantee that in three years' time, I'll be back right here having this conversation saying that, you know, the players aren't listening to uh, Jose Mourinho's demands. We're playing boring football. We're not playing attacking Manchester United football. You know, it, it, and it's just going to go up shit creek. He never lasted a job longer than three years. For I was... It's gonna accept Jose Mourinho to come to Manchester United. It would be on the basis that it would be from now until the end of the season just to make top four. It wouldn't be long term at all. It would literally G be just a six month stint. And he's it will be good for Jose Mourinho too, where he could come back into the Premier League, get a little bit of respect back. You know, amongst the his managerial peers, and you know, and make top four with Manchester United. Giggsy, do we give it to Giggsy to the end of the season? No experience at all. Was he managed four games, something like this? I don't know. And, and going forward, do we give Giggsy a go next season? Probably not. This is a massive, massive job on board. But one thing we can all agree on is that Louis Van Gaal, his time is up at Manchester United. Now, if he is not sacked or if he's not resigned by the next few weeks and he does coach out the rest of the season, I think Manchester United are fucking mad. That's just my opinion on this situation. 
But it does look like Louis Van Gaal has resigned. It's a whether the board can come to make a decision about the replacement of Louis. So, uh, lads, that's been my opinion on this situation. Get your opinions in the comment section. I'll be interested to see what you guys reckon, or if you can, you know, name another coach other than a Pep Guardiola, uh, Pep Guardiola Mourinho, Giggsy, Mary Laurent Blanc, maybe Diego Simeone. I'm not too sure. Stick it in the comments below. But until next time, I've been your boy, Kota7. Take care and peace.